Hey, what's up, people? It's Brother Rich from Underground Railroad Radio. Uh, today, the topic of today's show is are black people the extraterrestrials? Now, we've been hearing a lot of talk about sightings being seen lately. Uh, almost every other movie out is dealing with aliens, um, you know, all that type of stuff. So, uh, you know, I thought it would be best to have one of the most powerful speakers when it comes to that subject, Delbert Blair, to discuss, uh, you know, exactly what's going on. So we got Delbert Blair today on the show, but before Delbert Blair comes on the show, I have another brother. Uh, he goes by the name of LJ. Sort of reminds me of a young Delbert Blair, but he has tons of information when it comes to that type of material. So I just thought I would bring the brother on the show to uh, interview Delbert Blair with me. And to also introduce this brother to, uh, you know, the blog talk radio community out there so the brother could share, you know, the important information that he may have to share with me. Uh, brother LJ, are you there? Uh, roger that. I am here and I'm shining. How you feeling, son? <laughs> I'm feeling great, brother. As you know, right. we got Delbert Blair on the show today. But before he comes on, I just want you to uh, briefly tell the people, you know, you can, I, I see you a lot come by my table and, you know, you drop some science, some information on me about, you know, what's going on, um, just, just tell the people right now, um, I know you're part of an organization and, you know, there's, there's some things that's been going on lately, you know, I talked to you about this before, I'll let you know my stance on it, um, as far as what's going on with the concentration camps and all that, uh, I feel yeah, like, yeah. Though, you know, you know, none, none of that, you know, it's, it's all, it's mind over matter, you know, Absolutely. it's dealing, but, um, uh, I'm gonna let you go into it. But also, um, I have uh, another uh, um, brother that's going to be on with us, you know, off and on today, Brother A.A. A. Rashid. Brother A.A. A. A. Rashid is one of the most, the most, most dynamic, dynamic. Uh, uh, teachers uh, dealing with the Kamala and more and more. So I think we're going to move back. Brother Rashid. Rashid. Yes, sir. Can you uh, turn, I think, is that your radio? Can you hear me better now? Yeah. <laughs> What's good? Okay, are you there, brother? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we was getting a lot of feedback. Uh, uh, Who had the phone? This is brother LJ. This is brother Rich and brother LJ. Brother LJ, remind hey, me of that was Blair. I want the brother, hey, brother LJ. Uh, Peace, Lord. Go All right, brother LJ, and just tell us what you know. What you've been telling me about what's going on right now and what you well, feel is about to happen. Uh well, basically, to sum it up, you know, brothers and sisters out there listening. I feel the same thing. Everybody down down to the most, what I consider the most emptiest of certain third dimensional vessels to, to be feeling right now. And that's, that's a huge change in vibration worldwide. Uh, this change in vibration has, has been talked about by our ancestors, uh, by ancient cultures. It's, 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 it's a vibration that's universal. It's transdimensional. And it's going to happen whether or not we want to believe it's happening or not. What we have to come to terms with, basically, is the real essence and seeds of our origin, because then we're going to know the next step and where we're going, truly where we're going. Uh, you mentioned earlier how, um, huh? you know, cinema's dealing a lot, a lot, brother, with uh, extraterrestrials. We got this movie, uh, what is that movie, The uh, Happening, or something like that, or The Knowing. And uh, that deals with aliens. Uh, tons of things dealing with uh, genetic evolution, gen genetic tampering. There was an article in uh, all the newspapers about three and a half weeks ago about how you can now go in and get your baby designed. All of this stuff normally is considered within the realm of madmen, crazy talk. Hmm. When you try to present the truth, which is a very swallow to most people, as to what's going on, like, look at this. You can go in. It's like Burger King now. You can get your baby made. They laugh at you and they ridicule you immediately because the programming fest. But this has been going on for millennia. For millennia, uh, there are many different star races out there. Okay, still within the realm of crazy talk, right? Insanity, mind you, insanity was a word, like I told you before, brother. That was used by ancient Greeks for the greatest of philosophers. It meant that you were inside, you were sane. You know, now. This, this, this whole deal with the star races, actually there's 144,000 of them. You can mark the word 144,000 because it's popularly used in the book of Revelation. 
a common misinterpretation, mind you, the book of Revelation was written 750 years after the ending of the Roman, after the ending of the uh, Old Testament. It was written by Roman Parliament senators. Now, uh, they mentioned 144,000. Those are the known different star races currently known, okay, that have seeded star seeds here. Uh, and, and this is why to this day there's this huge deal going on with race, divisions between race, schisms between race, misunderstanding, and the fracturing of vibrational energy. All of this needs to change. It needs to change quick. Our mm -hmm. friend, our grand friend Obama is going on a 71-country tour to promote a one-world government, and there are more than 60,000 plastic coffins and more than 20, like 20,000 FEMA camps waiting for us. We need to start vibrating, and it needs to be quick. Throughout history, all the powers that we've known to be evil have been associated with a force that was serpentine or reptilian. All your brothers still there? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> it's all right. Eruption. We uh, are <laughs> right. getting ready to connect uh, Dr. Blair right now, brother. Absolutely. Yes, hello? Yes, Dr. hello, Blair, Dr. Are you there? Yes. Yeah, this is Blair. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, brother? It's a pleasure to have you on the show today, brother. Well, believe me, it's a pleasure to be on your show, yeah, brother Rich. Definitely a pleasure. I'm sitting here <laughs> shaking hey, with nervousness. Hey, hey, Doctor Blair, today I got a um, I got a guest host with me. Uh, he goes by the name of Brother L J, and I also have Brother A A Rashid. So, um, you know, I thought it, would, it might be nice to get questions from different perspectives instead of just me asking you all the questions, you know. So, Brother yeah. LJ, you know, he, he's one of your, you know, biggest supporters. Yeah. And the brother's going to, you know, the brother's going to be asking you, um, you know, some important information. He's going to ask me some information or he's going to share some information with me? <laughs> oh, you know, every, every experience is experience to, yeah, grow and learn. So I, I really want to just garner and absorb, you know. <laughs> I, I can't even talk right now. I'm so nervous. It's it's, it's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, you don't pleasure. sound nervous at all, and I was listening. In. I've been on for about three minutes, and I heard you expounding there. So you know <laughs> about the Dracons and the time we're in, and the tour he's on. You're right. You you got him pinned correctly. And you, what most of us don't understand is the time it is. You know, it's interesting too that you have me on on what is this called? A April Fool's Day. Day? Yeah. Okay, and that's interesting too because most people you ask about April Fool's Day, they cannot tell you how it came about. About it. Uh, well, tell us now, brother. How did it come about? <laughs> that's very really interesting too, because that gets back to the church. That gets back to Pope Gregory. Uh, April Fool's Day started on April first in fifteen sixty four, and it started in France. What happened there was that that Pope Gregory uh, called together a, a group. And he said it was a Januarius Council. What had happened was that uh, they adopted, France was the first one to do it, the Gregorian calendar, named after Pope Gregory. And he said that the year should begin on January 1st. Well, before that time, in the so-called Roman world, in Europe, in the places that were dominating at that particular time, uh, it would start in March 21st. That was the start of the year, March 21st, and it ended on April 1st. He changed it around, starting it and giving a new month. They didn't even have a January. They didn't even have a February. He started with January and then said this was going to be the first of the year. So it caused a lot of ruckus because a lot of people were not for, were not Catholic. A lot of people weren't for the church dictating that much. So those people continued to follow it on April the 1st. So they called it, they said, well, they were fools to do that because the church has decreed it's not. So that's where they began to say they were fools. So it was April Fool's Day. In, uh, I think it was in Scotland, they used what they call Fish Day. Uh, and uh, there was another place out there, too, where they had the Gawk Day, or those that were gawking at the people who were looking <laughs> and making these uh, assertions that the years shouldn't be changed like that. So it threw off all the calendars. It led uh, something else we could get into one day, but I won't do that now, 46 B.C., when they also lost 461 days in the calendar. Yeah. <laughs> so this is why they say in Western world, they don't even know what time it is. We don't know what year it yep. is. They don't even care. They just make up stuff, and we follow everything they make up. Uh, wow. What's the, um, the, what's, the, what's the name of the lecture, Dr. Blair? Well, the Mysteries Unveiled of the 18th Dynasty. I could call it the last time the gods and, and mortals ruled. I could call it a lot of things, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about King Tut, 
the real truth behind it is that yes. they hide Akhenaten, I, Mut, <laughs> Nefertiti, the priest of Amun, the connection there with the Nubian Empire, because Nubian Empire can't be separated, but they do. The real name for the pyramids, because it's not the real name, what they signify, the real name for Cairo. We're going to get deeply into the uh, insight, and that's the last time when we had extraterrestrials and terrestrials ruling. That's why so many people honor King Tut. Uh, you know, every time he comes through, every time he goes to all the cities, people come out. In their hearts, they don't even know, but they remember those cellular memories. That membrane tells you that was the last time you had it good, and we need to get back to it. And our president is trying to bring that about. So I think the people will find it fantastic. We'll talk about King Tut's wife that nobody talked about. We yep. talk about the babies. We talk about the Hyksos and how they got involved and who they represented, things that you never hear. And this is why I'm glad that you, Brother Rich, and especially Brother Rashid, and all you who are communing together to try to bring back enlightenment at this time of darkness. I thank you very much. I'm looking forward to do it as much as the people are looking forward to me being there. Okay, Dr. Blair. Now, oh, um, the topic of today's show is, now, you, you've been dealing with aliens, extraterrestrials, um, things of that nature for years and years and years. One of the few black scholars to... Uh, to, to delve into that, to deal with that. Now, my question, my first question to you, and I'm sure Brother LJ got a lot of questions, but I just want to ask this question. Uh, you might. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask this question, but, uh, Dr. Delbert Blair. Now, when you now when you when you talk about aliens uh, in the black community, Doctor, that's kind of a touchy subject. I mean, it's like. When you hear about abductions, you know, we, we generally don't hear about nobody being abducted but white people. Man. Ain't no black people see no aliens. Um, when you, when you say? say that, when, when you say that, people think you're crazy. So, I mean, I'm conscious, so I know what you're talking about when you deal with that. But for the every for the average Joe out there, Dr. Blair, for the for the average person out there that may be listening. That's saying, what is this black man talking about with aliens? I've never been abducted. Why is he saying that blacks used to be extraterrestrials? Can you go into that and, you, and can you explain this whole concept of, uh, of, of, of us having a cosmic origin, Dr. Blair? Well, you are really pulling out a big plate. It must be Thanksgiving and we're going to eat anything but soul food. We're going to eat some food that's going to be good for us. We're going to get some vegetables in here now and some juices and some Keegan water and some diet. We're going to get out here and let our, those pineal glands begin to vibrate like they used to again. If you notice, all your meteorologists, your astrophysicists and so are talking about dark matter, black holes, all these kind of things they're talking about. They're talking about trying to understand what absorbs light. They're talking about something that may be coming this way. The only people who are not talking about it are those who are too busy hip-hopping, uh-oh, or finger-popping, uh-oh, and not getting a chance to understand some of the things you're seeing. You're seeing the movies now about heroes. You're seeing something that's going to save the earth from a terrible future, and that people are going to have to mutate and get all kind of powers. Well, it's just simply the power is coming back. The power has been here for the longest. This is why you see constructions and destructions. You see constructions that are falling apart where... Mountains remove uh, tons of stone, granite stones inside the Great Pyramid, and the only granite is something like uh, 80 miles away. Uh, all of these things removed. So something has happened here that we've lost technology, we've lost touch of what's really happening. So let's just get back to a simple way of trying to find out what is really happening here. If you notice, there are 13 crucified saviors. If you notice, every religion on this planet except for one has a black God has a black person that heads it up. If you're going to about the Buddhas in India, uh, if you go to China and Fuxi, if you go to Japan, you got Zaha. If you go to, uh, if you're looking at uh, either of the, the gods of the Greek, and so Zeus, the one who was on Mount Olympus, the burnt face bird god there. Uh, when you go about Apollo, the son of Zeus. When you go to India, you got a blue black god, Krishna. Even in Scandinavia and the Netherlands, you got Tyre, was a woolly haired dark-skinned guy and a guy named Thor, okay? You got Athena, you had Isis, you had Lao Tse, you had uh, in Scotland, Scotia. In Mexico, you had Quetzalcoatl, Ixtilton, you had Kali, and, uh, and well, anyway, Circes and Diane and Delphi. The orcas of the Delphi even had black women there who were very psychic. Now, they don't touch any of this. There is only one religion 
that does not have a black savior, and guess what religion that is, where most people here worship every Sunday and clap their hands and stamp their feet and will not accept the idea that there may have been even a black Jesus because this is where he was misnamed. Now, when I say all of that, I'm simply saying blackness and power have gone hand in hand for the longest. It's only recently when we got miseducated, when we went into a time of darkness and had to get the religions that we had, which was spirituality, into religion that let people dominate us, that we lost out on all of that. So the thing is, what made these uh, people gods, or what made these persons God? What made them have more power than the people that were worshiping them? You don't worship or you don't respect somebody that's just like you unless you love yourself. So these were people who were all over the place that seemingly had great power and somebody worshiped them. Now, when you see that, you will also say that they had servants or people who served them, angels, demons. If you look on the Great Pyramid, you see upright walking serpents. You see uh, eagle-looking uh, gods, if you would. You see gods with long claws. Now, these are all people either that are being stylistic, as they try to tell you when you go to Oriental Institute and all like this, University of Chicago, where they have these museum pieces, or there must have been something that looked differently, that had great power, that people respected. And this is where you start getting into what you would call aliens. Now, let's start out by separating what an alien is. An extraterrestrial is one thing. Many people lump them together. When you use the word extraterrestrial, you're talking about a form from terrestrial. One of the old names for Earth is Terra. Terrestrial. That means extraterrestrial is somebody from a planet like this that had a little bit extra than there are other people on a planet like this. An alien can be anything, and please hear me as I choose my words very carefully, anything that's intelligent. I said anything that's intelligent. You might have a praying mantis. You might have a bunny. You might have anything. And a guy told me one time something that blew my mind and is still blowing my mind, but as I get wiser, and get a little bit older, <laughs> and I began to say, this is something else. He, I was um, on a farmland, God, this was almost 30 years ago, and he picked up a shovel. He said he had some soil there. Where it, was a, it was a good harvesting, had a good farm. He said, Blair, he said, I'm going to pick up this shovel here. He said, you pick up that dirt here. He said, look at that dirt. What do you see? I said, well, you know, same old thing. Long story short, he said, if you take a magnifying glass, and you look at that soil and dirt, see what you say. And he happened to have one in his pocket, so I knew he'd been planning for me. So I looked at it, and I was astounded. I saw things moving in there. The whole ground seemed to be just quivering. And then he said, look at it closer. And I got in amazed. I saw, I saw monsters in there. I saw things with tentacles and hooks in there. I saw every kind of thing. And he said, now, put that under an electron microscope if you ever get a chance. Well, I didn't get a chance to do that until three years later, and I was just astounded. What I saw was this whole soil, one shovel, had all kind of creatures in there. They were fighting, they were warring, they were doing everything one. And then he made a statement to me. He said, think that everything you see there has a chance to reach fruition. I said, what do you mean by fruition? To go as high as they can, and they have a planet on which they can do it. I said to myself, I'm not going to even say anything to this brother. This brother's lost his mind. But when I began to, I was into biology and zoology, science was my minor there again, you know, I'm an engineer also. So I began to use just that, and I found out that when you look into an electron microscope, you got a whole world in there. Then I began to relate that to my own body, and we have quadrillions, if not millions of cells in our own body, all of them doing things, all of them active, fighting and warring, and we are supposed to be the god of this system, the body that we're in. Most of us don't even know how to begin to rule our own bodies. How are we going to do anything else again? Then when you go and you look under a telescope, uh, out to a telescope, and you look at the endless spaces out there, and all you do is see dots. If you can ever stop Kim Trayman's trailing so much, you see these dots are supposed to be stars. Stars are supposed to be suns. That means if the suns are anything like the one we have, there are planets around them. That means that there's, you, you pick a figure, there must be quadrillions, none millions, just millions of planets out there just waiting, and then we're told that we are probably the only planet that's inhabited with intelligent life. And I don't think we're too intelligent here anyway, so I don't even know why they had that in there. But it, So I'm just saying, if that is the case, what must be out in the cosmos? What must be out in the galaxy? What must be out in the constellations? And it lets you begin to know that when people begin to travel and creatures begin to travel and interdimensionally, we might find anything coming to our planet because obviously there must be all kind of life forms out there just waiting. And many of these life forms that came there were dark in hue. 
many of these life forms that came here battled what was called, uh, uh, in many cases, they battled what were called dracons, and that's yeah. why you see these dragons everywhere in China. You see Quetzalcoatl down in Mexico. There yeah. are these big heads and fangs down there at Tiwaneko, at Zato, at Uxmal. There was always a battle going on here, and the ones that seemingly saved the planet and why they were revered were what they now call the Olmecs, yeah. and that's a misname. The Olmecs should be called the Washita Moors. This mm. is what they should be called, and I repeat that, the Washita Moors. From all the way up in Nome, Alaska, and Nova Scotia, all the way down to Argentina and Venezuela, you have these big, colossal, basalt heads and stone heads looking so negroid and africoid that you cannot despic them. Yeah. They've even been dumped into the ocean where they try to get rid of it and where the oceans have also parted. So I'm simply saying... Some species came here looking that way that seemingly helped and rescued some of the people that were here on earth, and this is why they were worshipped, this is why their heads everywhere, and this is where you start getting the battle between extraterrestrials and aliens. And the extraterrestrials in this case were what they call Olmecs, Washita Moors, who I state came from Mars by way of Sirius, and that gets into another whole discussion of who the gods really are. Uh, brother, brother LJ, do you do you, do you have any questions for uh, Blair before uh, I ask him something? Do you want you have anything that um, based on what he just said? Me uh, first, me first. Dr. Blair. Oh, well, hold, on, hold on, brother Rashid. Go ahead, brother Rashid. Go ahead. Hey, brother Rashid, how are you? All right. Peace, and love it. Welcome listen, back. Listen, I want to ask you not a question, but also for you to repeat. Yeah. You said that proper name for the Olmec should be the Washita Moors. Moors. Mm-hmm. Correct. Moors. Yeah. Moors. No. Yeah, no, 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 not not Moors, not the one from Morocco and Mauritania that came over in 750 and 1125 into Etrusca and up into Ionia and places like uh, that. Now, I'm not talking okay. about those Moors. I'm talking about the Moors from Lemuria. Those were the ones that were here when there was yes. no Etrusca. You. Well, those you. were the Dr. ones Blair. that... Dr. Blair, this is the second part of the question. Real fast, pardon me, brother uh, CJ. Listen, but please, Dr. Blair, will you be going into detail on? Of course, of course, he is, man. Okay. 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 If the audience okay. is there and they want, then yes, this is, this is where we go. As I was saying before, we're going to start with the 18th Dynasty and King Tut, Anknot, and Nefertiti, I, Mu, on, you know, the uh, the priest of Ra and Amun and all this kind of thing. And then hey, we'll they, go from there. We, there's, a, there's a great emphasis on Egypt in these days. Is this has anything to do with the, the with the new uh, establishment of government or how we will be governing ourselves? And this is my final question, and uh, peace to the family. Uh, does this have anything to do with our contemporary times? I think so. A lot of these people are reincarnates. Uh-oh, here we go again. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, A lot man. of these Come people on, are crystal children that are being born now, the oldest souls Hello. that are still coming back here now. Uh, people, uh-huh. We had indigos being born, but they're now being replaced. That's why they got these movies coming about superheroes with strange yeah. powers, where the powers are being brought back because we didn't have enough energy coming from our sun to support that kind of power. So now... We are a binary star sun system. We now have two suns sitting out there. How many astrologers? Uh, I'm sorry, astrologers. How many astronomers, meteorologists, astrophysicists do you hear telling you that we are a binary star sun system? But I teach people, and many of have done it, how to see that second sun, how to photograph it, and what is happening is highly magnetic. So now we can begin to use the pineal gland and the pituitary gland up in the hypothalamus. We can begin to recognize those energies that we had lost. We can begin to unify ourselves and come together in the concert of the Creator's mind. When you do that, anything is possible. So my idea is that we're going from a third dimension to the fifth dimension, and December 21st, 2010, we will be fully into the fifth dimension, and this is when it's going to get a new beginning because we'll be losing our arch enemy, uh, in general, the Dracons, because as I say, there are some good ones, <laughs> but most of them are not. And when we lose them, because the planet is putting them out, then we'll find out what we really were, because we'll have the planet back again for ourselves. But Dr. Blair, Dr. Blair, let me let me cut you off for one second. Now, all right, to the average person out there, now you got to remember, this is Block Talk Radio, this is Internet Radio. Anybody can listen. When you say in our greatest enemy and you say they're Dracons, you may not know who you're talking about. It's the average, to, oh, hold up, to the average person out there walking down the street, their greatest enemy is that cracker on that street yeah. who's harassing them, who's 
who, 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 who's killing them, who's imprisoning them. So what do you mean by the Drake cause? Are you, this is what I'm saying, Dr. Blair. How are you going to relate to a people who have been oppressed for hundreds of years by this crap? How are you going to tell them that their greatest enemy is the Drake when all they see is this blonde-haired, blue-eyed beast who is trying to oppress them? Just break break that down for, you know, this person who may be wondering what you mean by Dracon, brother. Oh, wow. Well, first of all, I don't use that term you use, just like I don't use the N-word. Uh, mm -hmm. We have to begin to understand, we lump things and creatures together. Uh, there are many people, oh, God, how do I even begin to approach this? It's such a, there are many <laughs> right? people of all races that are encrypted. That's a real question, Dr. Blair. There are many people of all races who have uh, who are mind-controlled. If you heard this guy, they just got to cutting off the guy's head and then stuff. We're under control, and it is because of draconic methodology, because of a whole race of upright walking serpents called dracons, and the white race, if you're going to lump everybody together, and they're as different as you and I, but we don't seem to understand it because we're such a prejudice. You know one thing? We can't get along, black, white, yellow, and brown. What are we going to do with zebra stripe, pink, green, <laughs> and aqua, and then jet black and pink white? I mean, you know, we haven't even begun to feed the for what the family of man is. I don't like to use those words like that. The whole point mm. is, if a guy is evil, got his skinhead, comes up and calls you a name and hurts you, then I don't like him. But I've had some brothers, when I was younger, to attack me. I had done nothing about it, and they look just like me or darker than me. So I can't lump that together. What we have got to understand is we're at a crisis point now. Our planet is under quarantine. This planet is now being subject. If you notice, did you hear that uh, that shift, or well, I'm sorry, that flash in the sky would boom, that up and down the East Coast was seen about three days ago. People were calling and everywhere the big boom. That was a spaceship they shot out, okay? There is a battle going on. We don't begin. So I don't care what people are saying. People have got to wake up. So let them hear another side. My point is, don't worry about what I'm saying. See if what I'm saying makes sense and go out and do the research. Because if you're going to stay asleep, you might never wake up. And this is the one they'll put into all these caskets out here. These are the ones that the FEMA and the brother was talking about. This is what they have them for, those dumb down, comatose, brainwashed, inoculated, vaccinated, yeah. encrypted people who cannot survive on either side of the fence. Because there is a power, there is energy, and when you wake up to what it is, you can tap into that power. And this is what they don't want you to do. So I yeah. simply say, I don't care what they think. That's not the point. And I always tell people, do not come to me for truth. Come to me for facts. The only way you'll find truth is going within. You remember, you remember I had that little saying I say about there is no truth until you decide where truth is in this dimension? It's true. it's true. So all I do is give you years of research through the Creator's Guide. You take what I say. Don't just judge it till you hear the whole story. Then go out and look at it and see if it makes sense. And this is all I can say. This is all I ask. I am not a master. I'm a researcher. I hope a good one. And people come out and question all they want. Okay, okay. Uh... Are these good times, Dr. Blair, or are these bad times we're living in? Uh, who are a little more spiritual may say that these are good times because we're getting rid of everything we have to get rid of to bring in the new and to bring in what's going to be positive and beneficial to humanity. Uh, the man on the street, I may, I hear, and this is just from what I hear, I'm because I want to opinion on that from the average person on the street. Um, that person I hear says that these are horrible times we live in. So are these good times, Dr. Blair, or are these bad times? These are very dangerous times. Yeah. These are very, very wonderful times. These are very <laughs> horrible times. They are whatever your vibrations bring in. Your thoughts are things. What you think of and what you fear, you have to think about. If you love something, you think about it. If you fear something, you think about it. Either way, you're drawing it to you. We have choices here, and the choices we make ought to be made very carefully because the choices we make now will pretty much bring what our souls have asked for and maybe don't want. You know what they say, be careful what you ask for? These are times, as I say, I understand our planet is under quarantine. We've got 13 different kind of alien and extraterrestrial terrestrial races intermingling with us right now. Some of them are much different looking, so the government hides them in underground places and laboratories and islands and stuff like this. But these are times of choice. It's a time now where concentrated thought 
and spirituality must be used. It will be used either for you or against you. You can join the party and begin to also use it or be subject to anybody that's using it upon you because you're not, you don't have enough energies or sense or awaken enough to begin to use it yourself. These are dangerous times. These are forbidding times. These are wonderful times. These are glorious times. It's glorious for those who now can awaken and see the power within and begin to lift that veil of Maya and understand what really religion is, what really race is, what really this planet is. And only when you awaken to a problem can you do anything to solve it. This is a time for solving it, not a time for fear. But if you don't do anything, I say be very fearful. Because if you go into some of these hospitals, take some of these drugs, go out and do the things they're telling you to, breathing the, the air that's bad and eating the food that's bad, yes, you're going to have problems because you're not going to be able to wake your immune system up and you're going to be subject to whatever they want. And this is what they do. They put chips in you, make you a slave, and you you like they've been for the longest. Yeah. You know, I like how you answer that, Dr. Blair, because a lot of people within the conscious community they're always, or just in, in this world, if you want to call it that in general, they look for a yes or no answer. But the truth is we live in a multidimensional universe where um, a person could say yes, a person could say no, and both of them could be right at the same time. But brothers love to argue, oh, this is really this way, oh, no, it's really that way. But the truth is, that, you know, um, depending on what perception you get something from, depends on what conclusion you're going to come from. But like how you said, these are beautiful times, these are dangerous times, these are this time, these are that time, depending on your level of consciousness and where you're at. And that all goes back into the law of attraction and, you know, the law of magnetism and what you bring to you. You know, your, like you said, your thoughts are things. And what you will come to you, uh, whether it's so-called good or so-called bad. But um, besides that, Dr. Blair, I also want to ask you, I know you, I know you said you're not a master teacher, but many people see you in that light. I see you as a brilliant man. <laughs> see, I mean, you're truly a brilliant man. I want to know, why is Dr. Blair here? Why are you in the third dimensional plane right now? What is your purpose? Why are we why are melanated people here? I mean, if there's all these universes out here, all this greatness out here, if there's heaven up there, heaven over there, why why is Dr. Blair down here right now in his 4x4 four four room or wherever you are, big house or whatever it and may be? And also, too, I, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. you, brother, but I'm, I've been dying of sitting on this question. i also like to ask you, Dr. Blair, how can we, as a people, especially as a, a melanite star race, how can we as a people, as, as, as a massive brotherhood worldwide, start coming together and thinking beyond the, 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 the plasticine and the immediate views of our BET? And hold on, our, hold on. You got to answer the first question first, oh, homeboy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about yeah, that. Whenever you guys finish. Right. Yeah, stand down, homeboy. Go ahead. <laughs> Dr. Blair, answer that question. Go ahead. Okay. First all of right. all, thank you for the compliment that you gave at the beginning of uh, your interrogatory and, and spelling it out for me clearly, clearly. Uh, I always say I am not a master, and nobody I know of masters metaphysics in one lifetime. They might not do it in 20 lifetimes. It's just too broad a field because it deals with all. So I am a student of metaphysics, and I teach a little bit that I know for those who want to hear what I have to say. Let me make my little phrase. I've got to go back to my truth statement again <laughs> because it always comes in handy. In this dimension, there is no truth until you decide what truth is. And your truth may not be my truth, and my truth may not be your truth. But that should not inhibit okay. our search for the truth, nor should it stop or diminish what is true. Because by daring to establish our own truths and holding to these truths until greater wisdom manifests or supplants our present understanding of what is truth, may we ascend from involution by cycles into evolution by spirals toward ultimate truth, if consummate truth does exist. So therefore I know that there is no truth until you decide what truth is, especially on this dimension. So I don't come to me for truth. Come to me for facts and research, find your truth, and then if we both share the same truths, we both think we're great, we'll both be doing things together, and that's the way it goes. People party together, walk together, do things together based on the things that they share, the ideology and the concept that they want. Now, I will state this also. On our planet presently, you've got people from Telosia, you've got people from Procyon, you've got people who are called Umites, 
You've got Nordic regalians. You've got, uh, what do they call these, these Sinasi people from Sirius. You've got Syrians. You've got Lyrans. You've got Tarsitatians. You've got Elpis and Taurians. You've got Pleiadians and Plarians and Andromedans and Acturians. Man, we got so much here, and, you, and half of them you don't even know. Because they can shapeshift on you, they can camouflage on you, they can walk in on you, and their government, in many cases, are headed by their offspring here, DNA. This is why we got such a problem. Why do you think they're bailing out now all the things that are using the people with the source of money and not doing a thing from you? You don't have a parachute. They're bailing them out, and they stick you out the plane with nothing, <laughs> okay, because they're not here to help you. They're here to keep this system going. They're here to develop you and use you, and when you get too smart, they cut you off at the pass. In our own bodies right now, what's at the top of the spine? A reptile brain. Who yep. made us body like this? They made these bodies. They DNA us. You look at the, if you look at the top of your back of your hand, has got scales. The front of your hand is smooth. Same thing ashy. with your feet. We get ashy, doctor. We People get, ashy. get sur- People get psoriasis, people, everything. We are already dna We don't even understand it. They call, you know, we've got at the, at the junk pool, when they had this, uh, this human genome project, when they finished, I said, oh, my God, oh, my creator, they finished it. Here we go again. You have now junk DNA. The creator didn't make any junk. That means that somebody cut off the Sephora. Somebody put that gene pool. They cut down that tree of life, and they took away the powers that you had and the ability to use it, and it's still just lying there again. Right now, we have that reptile brain, the four Fs. That's all that brain does. Fight, feed, flee, and fornicate. Notice how nice I'm being. Fight, feed, flee, and fornicate. Any reptile can do that. That's all they want you to do. Because when you rise past that, you got to stop the soul food. You got to stop all the daggone meats that are no good. You got to begin to get into monatomic gold. You got to begin to get into heavy chlorophyll because you got to work past that brain to get into just one part of the brain, the logical brain, and then get into the all encompassing left, right brain. This is what they don't want you to do. This is why they give you all the shots. This is why they give you all the, uh, the pharmaceutical things that are no good for you. This is why they give these babies these seven shots in three days' time before they leave the hospital. This is why they go back and tell you to get booster shots. This is why they fight the wars to feed these great Don't give them too much, Doc. Too much, doc. Well, okay. okay. You know, okay. I'm just saying. It makes sense if you take everything in and don't leave out That's stuff because right. it doesn't sound good. It's impossible for me to get full, so I can eat all day. <laughs> right, come out. Come out. And, and bring all your friends, man. Bro, come oh. out, bring all your friends. We're going to do the knowledge. We're going to let the doctor go in, chat. Oh, you know? No, I want to thank Brother Rich. Rich, yo, you are a gem and definitely a super, super pillar to the community. I feel I feel safe. If anything happens, if it's up to you, you're you going to make sure that the whole message get out there. I like how you did this tonight. This is wonderful. You know, mm-hmm. thank, thank you, brother. Rick. Thank you, thank, thank you, brother. Underground Railroad Net dot com, man. Real talk, brother. LJ, do you? Hey, you, you 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 talk a lot now. Give Doctor Blair, give Doctor Blair a question, brother. You, I mean, oh, go ahead. you know, it's, just, it's you you know what it is. It's it's like Doctor Blair. The the question that really relies that 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 lies inside of me is how. It may seem like a selfish question. I admit it is a little bit, but. How can I and my my fellow man, you know, brothers and sisters out there listening, and how can we, you know, you you get this low vibratory energy from your fellow man. You know, I've met brothers. I can't tell you how many minds and uh, third eye pineal glands that are awake and active that I've met within the past year that are so they 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 know something's going on and they feel it and they're partially ready, but they they tend to walk through that proverbial door of enlightenment, so to speak, only to close it behind them real quick and use the partly gained knowledge as a superiority gain over others, you know, spreading disinformation, uh, vibrating on a lower, when I say a lower energy tone, is still in the base emotions as far as uh, overt ideas of racism. Uh, how do I speak to the average brother and sister on a level where they can understand first and foremost that the higher thinking starts with vibrating higher. Like it, I'm trying to bring it all together here. It's it's so hard to just talk to, you know. You, I get the conversations all the time, and, and like I said, I've met so many people who are just glowing. They're beaming, and and they're ready for more. But but somehow 
There's something there that prevents them from thinking and vibrating on that level where truly they can start to prepare. There's always some some underlying current of negativity. You know, just how how do other brothers and sisters who are encountering this same problem that I'm going through bypass that or, or alleviate it, if you will? By doing exactly what you're doing, getting fed up with it, knowing that there must be more, trying to discipline and find out how to get past it. You'd be surprised. You're not alone. Billions of people, did you hear me? I didn't say hundreds of millions of thousands. I said billions of people are awakening. This is a time for the awakening. This is why that second sun is out there. This is why they don't tell you about the sun. they got this international space platform, and they got all these little rocket launching ships and, and women climbing out there trying to staple gun a spaceship out there in space, and you really think that's the best thing they got? they got a whole fleet out there. they got an aurora fleet out there can get to the moon in seconds, but they didn't have it when they first started out. The whole point is this is the time for awakening. You're not alone in awakening, and the more you get into the proper diet, because you see, for instance, I'm going to just digress for a whole second or a whole minute. Thanksgiving is the worst time of the year. People get up there and eat all the meat, all the dressings, all the white starch and stuff. They get so full, they can't move. Then they go lay down on the couch because they can't move and try to get some alcohol to cut through the daggone proteins. A drink. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's not food. That's not. That's no soul food. That'll kill your soul. That'll cramp your soul so your soul will want to die and get out of the body because it can't stand that body. Now you've got to get into chlorophyll. You've got to get into spirulina and corella. You've got to get into light eating. You've got to get into monatomic gold where you can get that vibration up to 121 megahertz, especially when you've got chemtrails and MSG and aspartame and everything else, and these people going out and getting these crazy, crazy shots, these, oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> shoot. No, to get there, you've got to do there. If you want to do better, you got to know better. And if you know better and you don't do better, then you deserve what you get. It's a time for awakening. The power comes with concentrated thoughts. Why do you think people used to drum? People used to sit and chant. They didn't go yell. They chanted together. They had one thought. When you get one thought and you get a sun that can, it's working on a magnetic frequency, you can begin to work with the planet because the planet loves you and will obey you. Insects will obey you. Animals will obey you. Birds will obey you. Because we're so low, nobody obeys us. Then you won't have an enemy because your enemy will be swamped by the planet that they're trying to mess up. That's when you get rid of your enemy. We're out there now trying to find and dissect their rules. They make the laws. We try to find out how to bridge the laws. When do we make universal laws and follow them? This is the whole point. The planet will give you the power. The planet has already decided who it wants, and if you don't fall into that picture, you'll be out of it just as they are out of it too. You cannot sit both sides. This is a time for decision. Right. Wow. Right. You know, and see, it's, it's, it's crazy because I've been feeling, and I'm sure like many of you out there have also been, it's, this is something that's been stirring in me since, you know, I was real young. Like I said, I had to deal with ignorance all my life, coming, you know, a military grab over from place to place, having a combination of different accents from place to place. I've always gone out and searched, you know, and, and, and it's, 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 it's always, I've always known that there was something I had to do. And it's, it, I'd have to say it's been within the past eight years that I've fully awakened to my potential or the, to become not only awakened to my potential but become aware of how I can awaken my potential and just, just had a need to put other brothers and sisters, you know, on and, 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 and to help them, them find their way. But well, I agree you know, you. there are three types of energies that I understand in my limited research uh, that a planet like ours can exist upon or any type of life form that begins to take on physicality, which is the lowest, you know, we're really not physicals trying to understand spirituality. We're spirits trying to understand physicality, and we're not doing too well. And that's because we've got that arch enemy who does not want us to awaken because yep. it knows the potential of people who, of man, who can become a god because God is a fallen man right now on this planet. But we have, all have godheads. We are gods. Our souls are here. So toward that end, they have definitely designed everything, even the wars they make, even the food they make. Why do you think so many things are bad if everything is good? That good. means that somebody has taken the good, given you the bad because they want to control you. And how best do you control? Miseducate, uh, misfornicate, <laughs> mislubricate, <laughs> and then misfeed, miswater, and miss everything else again. You misappropriate, you misunderstand, <laughs> you miss out. There you go. There you go. All right, this is why people are awakening. Let me ask you to play it. Okay. 
on the street. Um, five brothers go around saying the black man is God. Um, you know, five percent of the brothers in general in the country, um, you know, they always say the black man is God. How did God get to this form? Why Why is God in this form, and how did God? Why would a God, if you say this and that about humanity, this is the lowest form in all the dimension, or dimension why would God want to come? To the, why, would, why would a God want to come to the third dimension, Dr. Blair? Why? Well, you have to ask, what is a God? I well, didn't say the creator. It, 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 See, I use the term Dr. creator. Blair. <laughs> I, wait, listen, why, wait a minute. Why would wait a minute. creator? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't inter- it's just like interchanging. As we started off, people make the mistake, I think, of interchanging the form of what they would call alien with extraterrestrial. Two different things. Okay. A god is one thing. There's only one creator. Now, you can get a creator god who tries to emanate the creator, and that's just advanced science misusing DNA and so as he finds it or she finds it. Okay? At one, well, man, we could just run with this for so long. Um, God is, oh, let's put it like this. There's some things that are ubiquitous, and there's some things that are anthropomorphic. You can get God, spell it backwards. <laughs> and Here it was the Dogons who worshipped the dog and said they were going to the gods, okay? <laughs> you can get evil, spell it backwards. <laughs> you just live wrong, you're evil, okay? You can get devil, spell it backwards. <laughs> to have lived wrong, you become a devil. You see, these are anthropomorphic things. This is the way they confuse the mind. It's backward thinking. It's thinking that is perverted. And they do it purposely. And they continue yeah. to teach you things that are purposely. They teach you the wrong kind of math. They teach you the wrong kind of science. <laughs> the wrong kind of food science. Why? Because there is a force that doesn't want you to awaken. What is it about you if you awaken that makes them so fearful of you? That's what you should ask yourself. Because within you is a God. The God power is just simply man who can become as a God and get off this planet. We're fallen man. We are the Anunnaki we search for. We are the <laughs> gods we're looking for. Yes. But we won't go in and look Dr. for it. Blair. Dr. Blair, you know what's real interesting is that I tell, I tell people all, all the time that the reason why all this crazy military technology that they're saying is just recently being developed are things like dragon scale armor and then um, what they're calling a uh, uh, halo or uh, I, mean, I believe the military acronym is uh, ANGEL. It's these new type of vests that were developed in Japan that have relay cameras. They're digital relay cameras that when they're turned on inside of a flak vest, they show what's going on behind the person, rendering them literally invisible like the predator. You know, I, I try to explaining to, you know, the brothers and sisters, even the ones who are in their research, you try telling them this and, and you try to tell them that's because that when we awaken via the pineal gland and that third eye, the you know, the, the optical glands in there and the lenses inside that third eye, when we start to fully awaken, we'll be able to literally look at cars and move them. You know, the, the 8 to 10% of our brain that's normally, like, used, will we'll, it'll skyrocket and... It's it's really interesting you say that because it's 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 really hard explaining this sci-fi which people are exposed to and they watch every day. We go to we go to the movies to watch people get their heads microwaved and blown apart. This amuses us. The stuff we go to see every day, we're so numb to it, and 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 we we can never take well, they, it for truth anymore. Yeah, they you know? That's how they sensitize us through the movies. Big time. You know? Well, if you notice, Spielberg. Absolutely. Okay. Dr. Blair. Okay. Hello? Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, am I coming across? Am I still on? Yeah, yeah you were a little okay. blurry, yeah. Well, that's because you get feedback. They're recording this. Uh, anytime you talk to me, expect that, okay? So, and especially when I'm talking like I'm talking. Hey, we when, should when understand you, when, you, when you talk to me, expect to be protected. Well, well that's why. Uh, well, if you yeah. notice, I'm not stopping, so I must not have that fear. <laughs> Okay, but I'm just saying, so you might get anything going there again. Now, where was I? When you begin to look at the things, the movies that are coming out now again, when you begin to look at the things that are happening in general around here now, uh, if you notice, they have had, uh, they had, I think it was a year ago, they had a robot conducting the, uh, a symphony, uh, one of these big, uh, I think it was a 36-piece uh, symphony. They have a robot now conducting uh, quorums. They had a talk show in which they were supposed to have a robot come out and talk. It's a coast-to-coast show. They didn't do it, but they threatened to do it again. You've got robots coming out. You've got nanotechnology. As far as we begin to get into what they call getting into the depths of things and the deepest things, they do it through technicology. What does it call it? Technicology. Because it's not technology, it's technicology. It is the study of techniques to control you. Now, once you do that, then what they have to do 
with technology, you can do with the mind. That's the difference between a God-man and a mankind and human. It's a big difference. When you use those words interchangeably, again, you're wrong. They're all different kind of consciousnesses, all different kind of races. Eggborns don't have souls. Wombborns do. Most dinosaurs and stuff are eggborns, okay? So I'm just simply saying, you've got to go back to the roots. You've got to go back to where we started the miseducation, look at another path to take and see, compare those two and see what makes more sense. The obvious thing is now that the veil is being lifted. Now that consciousness is being stronger because we've got two suns putting out magnetic energy, and this, I didn't get into that breakdown of the three different kinds of energy, now we can begin to think like that. And toward that end now, what do they want to do? Start a war? kill us off with drugs, put chemtrails in to get weather modification, uh, start twisting us and messing us and taking uh, hybrids from us and stuff and getting these women impregnant and taking the babies and hybriding them with alien eggs and stuff like this. All this is done for one reason. Whatever is latent within us, whatever this planet wants to live or have on her, it must be so strong that it will take it away from them take us past them, and they will fight to the death not to get it because they know if we awaken, we might do to them what they did to us, and they're very fearful of it. This is yeah. a time of great change. It's a time of awakening. Don't think you're alone. I get calls every day. You'd be surprised the calls I get. You'd be, be surprised the orders I get on the site up there for people who want gold, who people who want dials because they're finding out these dials can perform a miracle, who people want to learn the techniques of meditation and start getting these spiritual circles. Many people are awakening. Don't worry about those who aren't. Work with those who are. This is where we'll get forward, and this is where we won't become crabs in a barrel. Uh -huh. Dr. Blair, um, if anybody wants information on how to purchase a dot gold or monatomic gold, could you please give the people information um, on how to, how to get that from you, brother? With pleasure, and I thank you. Uh, I have a website, and it's a very large mobile website. It's called The Meta Center. It's triple w dot, www dot, the, you have to type in the prefix T-H-E first, Meta Center, M E T A C E N T E R dot com. If you go up there, we have page after page after page of monatomic gold products, in which we have 12 different kinds, of diode products, which we have nine different, I'm saying 10 different kinds, of magnetic products, in which we have 39 different kinds, brain boofers, uh, boosters, sex enhancers, uh, immune system enhancers, mind control devices, all kind of things like this to help you, to help yourself. What I did was to see problems. I got tired of seeing problems. I searched for solutions. On that website are solutions. Now, there are solutions for some, problems for others, because if you're not awakened to what's up there and you don't understand there, you might say, well, I can't use a magnet or I can't use a diode. Everything up there, by the blessings of the Creator, is something that can help people to get out of this trap, to raise consciousness, and to stay healthy. But if you don't use them and you don't understand them, then you never try them, and therefore thinking about it won't get it done. Thinking about it and putting action behind it will get it done. And this is why we do have the website. And, again, there's a landline if anybody wants to call the Meta Center, and that's 708-422-6685, 708-422-6685. Six six eight five, and I think you have that there also, Brother Rich, if they want to call later on, and so. And I had one other question though too, or one other thing too. Uh, do we on on this was this is in a do you have chat rooms here? Are there people that can actually call in verbally uh, at this time, or do they have to just uh, reach you by tech? Uh, right now, we're just taking live call. Well, actually, we haven't even got to any of the callers yet. Oh, okay. Do that right now, because you know we just passed the hour mark, so we're about <laughs> to go to the you know. But I know you had so much to say, brother. You want to ask you questions? I had questions to ask you, but you know what? What we're gonna do right now? We're gonna get to our first caller. The callers come from the three four seven area code, so I guess the callers in New York. Let's see. Uh, let's connect this caller right now. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, it's Brother yeah. P. Moore. Peace, Dr. Blair. Peace. Yes, peace to you too, brother. Peace, absolutely. Peace. Uh, I'm calling to find out if this particular, the weekend when you when you come up to do this lecture, we'll be, be doing meditations and actually taking the application of the monotone, monotone goal and actually applying these sciences. 
Yes, now that's another thing. After uh, I honor the brothers who are bringing me there again, I'd like to do it. I try to do. I try to do workshops based on the amount of people who come out, and uh, whether they can be done on Monday or Tuesday or where else in the vicinity people can go to again. Because I like to leave uh, people understanding how to form what I call a meditative circle. Uh, there's two things that I've gotten pretty good at. One is the golden sun meditation, and the other is the sound of silence meditation. They both work, and believe me, they work. I'm also, and the people in our group now are really expanding their consciousness where we can teach you how to not even have to go for x-rays and MRIs so that you can begin to make your body talk to you, talk to you, and the body never lies to you. We just don't know how to tune to it. So we're getting very deep into this because we're also trying to practice what we preach. As these new energies are coming in, the power that is latent if you throw away all the I can't and don'ts and do's and get back to what can be done now, you'd be surprised now what you can do as a melanated person with a pineal gland because that's the biggest blessing you have. So, yes, I will have a form, a sheet to sign if you want to sign up for a workshop while I'm in town. Everybody knows once I'm there and I fulfill, then I try to reach out to the people. It helps me to meet them, helps me to make money, and helps me to get firsthand what the people want to really know and show them how these things are working, show them how diodes work. Show them when you start getting that monatomic gold, how it increases your psychic power and your dream and color and can even astral project. Show what magnets can really do in coupled with the pyramid form versus this magnets alone. Show them what neodymium can do rather than ceramic. So, yes, my brother, if you're interested, I'm interested. That's why I'm in town. And if you go there on Sunday, we can sign up for other things going again. If you have a group here I can speak with, I'll do that also. But, yes, I would love to get into some of this heavier stuff, not by talking it, but by showing it. Right. Thank you. I appreciate it. And as always, thank you, Brother Rich, for having such an open forum where we could do this. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the call, brother. Thank you, brother. Peace. All right. All right. Peace. You're the man, Brother like Rich. Dr. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Dr. Dr. Blair, we're going, to get in, we're going to get to the next caller. Let's see what the next caller has to say, Dr. Blair. Yes, hello. Caller, are you there? 518 area code. Good evening, um, Brother Rich. Dr. Yes, good Tyler. evening. This is TT. We spoke we earlier, spoke earlier for some time today. And LJ, um, nice to talk to you. I didn't know you were going to be on today. I saw your video that you kind of uploaded today. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sis. I'm, I'm going to have feedback. I can't understand yeah, it. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. Really. How about now? How about now? Hello? Still got a feedback. Yeah, a little yeah, feedback a little there. Feedback. there. Oh, I that's, don't know where that's coming from. Yeah, that's the echo. That's that. When they tap the phone, I, I, I there can hear you go. clearly. Uh, well, let her express yeah. herself, and then, then yeah, you can yeah, tell me what say, she said. Say what you have to say, sis, and you know, I'll relay the message. Okay. Well, thank you for um, having me, guys. But I had some questions for LJ. Okay. Yeah. Um, LJ, when I saw your video today, I was like, wow, we're totally on the same level. I'm obviously also African-American, and I just, again, was astonished that there was someone else um, saying and thinking the things that I had been thinking for so many years. So um, I have a couple of questions, and my first question for you, LJ, is um, where did you do your off-the-grid experience? That's the first question. And the second question is, how did you get into um, the whole Melanite um, ET thing? Do you consider yourself a contactee, an ET contactee, or were you just a firm believer in um, extraterrestrial life? And do you have oh. a YouTube channel? What's that? Do you have what was that YouTube last one, channel? sis? Do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, no, no, no. Um, the, the YouTube channel, I kind of... Um, a close friend of mine, actually three associates of me, uh, have taken up the remaining YouTube channel that we had all shared. Um, like I said, there's tons of people who actually do a lot of the postings of the video. Very recently, there was a scare between. Uh, okay, now we're being now, now the echo makes me nervous. Gotta forgive me. Uh, very recently, there was a scare about uh, putting some of the YouTube videos up. But uh, as far as uh, alien contact experience, most definitely. Um, um, recently, I've been uh, just coming into contact with uh, many, many memories that were dredged up during a year of counseling. I went shortly. Everyone's still there. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know it's, it's the echo. No, but go ahead. Keep, keep speaking, brother. Yeah, actually, 
give me one second. Yes. Can I can I call you brothers back and actually could uh we make contact in about five more minutes? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, I, brother, I have something go ahead, going go on here. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll call you. Okay. Vic, if you can stand on for five more minutes, I will reach right back to you. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank, uh, thank brother you. Blair, speak, you know, and 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 what the brother LJ is going through and what the sister was going through as far as that go. I want to, it brings to particular questions I had. I had mine. Um, now you know about tapping the phone and them listening. She's saying, what I want to ask you, Dr. Blair, um, what does fear, a lot of people, when they get into this information, the conspiracy information, the Illuminati, the reptiles, they're like, oh, my God, uh, I can't, I can't leave my house. I got to stay in the bed. I can't, I can't look this way. I can't look that way. I, I can't even watch TV because they're watching me. And good that they know the information but for some reason some you know they they get this fear that 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 penetrates their body so i want to ask you what does fear do to a person does to their system uh whatever you call it what what fear do to you and should we be fearful of information that we are receiving Apprehensive, yes, maybe. Cautious, yes, maybe. Thoroughly understanding what's happening, yes, maybe. And in so doing, the fear goes away. If you have a soul, you've got to understand you cannot die. Now, if you have a soul, you can change forms. That soul can go into different things again. And But you're not going to go. You're going to be somewhere with the Creator, and you'll have your chance to get back at those who hurt you or to even pity those who hurt you because they were so fearful and respectful, disrespectful, because they were not you. Like I say, eggborns don't have souls. Consequently, they already know that they're limited. We are limitless. We're here for an experience, and we're here because we needed to be here. Nobody's here. Either they did not volunteer because they knew couldn't progress until their whole race that they were with it progressed, or they were here to learn. You know, karma Dharma, people hear about karma, the just action based on what you've done you will pay for. But how many people hear about Dharma, that once you awaken mentally and spiritually, you only have to go through it one more time on the physical plane to prove that you now understand, then you can move on. This is a classroom. It's one of the lower classrooms, but it's the best way to understand physical reality. And that's a conundrum, an oxymoron. There's no such thing as physical reality. When you get to be physical, <laughs> you can't go any lower than that. This is where all those fears reach fruition. All those dreams can reach fruition. And they're built then, just like they showed in the movie Matrix before the Walensky brothers when Sylvia Stewart you know, made it the first act. It showed you everything those people did in the Matrix was mentally. But they made it so graphic, so you had to plug somebody in the back of their head. But then they were in a dream state. They were in a fourth dimensional state. And when in the end of it, the guy went to the fifth dimension. He no longer needed a physical body because anywhere he projected his thoughts, he could be. He had the Merkaba now under his control. The Merkaba of the Ba, the Merenika of above, the soul and the spirit body traveling on the mirrors of life. So I simply say this. Once you hold fear, once you hold love, it's the same thing. Whatever you concentrate on, you draw towards you. If you're constantly living in fear, you have to identify that fear. That's what you're drawing towards you. Understand that the people and things that are creating the fear, unless they're robots, and that's a whole different personality, also fear one thing, too. They fear you awakening to the fact that they don't have any power after the fourth dimension, and that as a soul, one day you'll get it. This is now why they're trying to get off the planet. This is now why they're trying to get under the ground because they can't take these new magnetic suns. This is now why they're trying to have you take melanin and nobody asks where they get melatonin from. But you already have the saving grace. You can go anywhere on this planet now and adapt if you don't do the drugs and you take in the natural herbals because you're a natural child, a natural portion, a natural soul. They even got you raising kids. And the kid is a baby goat to the goat god Baphomet, who they worship. They're always flashing these goat signs. You don't have kids. You have children. They have you now even giving, treating your children like kids. So it's a matter of fear. Fear itself brings fear. Love brings love. Wisdom brings wisdom. And whatever you search for, that's what you're going to get. Dr. Blair, I want to ask you, why are all these Hollywood stars, uh, Madonna, Angela Jolie, many of this, why? Why are they adopting these black children? You talk a lot about melanin. 
energy. Uh, why why are they why are they continuously adopting the? It's become a new trend. Why are they adopting these black children? Because they're drawn towards the melanin. They already know that the thing that they lack is melanin. Why do they put uh, these things into the lips to make their lips bigger? Because they want to look nigger white. Why do they spray in Dancing with the Stars, which I love. I love dancing, as you know, anyway. Why do they spray their bodies go or more golden again? Because that melanin is a sign of, of youth. It's a sign of energy. It's a sign of vitality. They already know what they want to do. They've reached the heights now. They can make enough money to do what they want to do. They've reached stardom. Now they've got to fulfill the soul vibration. they they fulfilled the physical vibration. Now they've got to do something because once they leave, it doesn't matter what body they were in, it's what did they do. And they realize this because now they get a chance to think. Now they get a chance to dream. We, we stay so stressed out and busy, we don't get a chance to do much of anything. But notice, but notice your show is on. Your show is here. You've done it. So we can still do it. They're simply trying to emulate what you are, a melanated person awake. Interesting. Now, what is this fourth dimension that you continue to talk about? Uh, you, they're, they're trying to trap us. I, 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 from, what, from my limited information, we exist in the third dimension. But you keep talking about the fourth dimension, and this fourth dimension, you're saying they're trying to trap us in. What, what, what is this fourth dimension you're speaking about? Well, by my understanding, there are seven dimensions just in, in, the, say, in this particular uh, galaxy. I might even say this constellation, because in a galaxy you might have a lot of things. And the seventh dimension, we're on the third. The third dimension is just simply a physical reality. And like I say, those are conundrums, those are oxymorons. Physical is not reality. We're on a planet that you can have things that change into other things. Let's call that morphing. You have a planet where you get seeds and things sprout from it, but in the seed itself is a pattern of what's going to be. That's like in the acorn is an oak. In our DNA is what we could be, but we have broken DNA, which lets us know that they had to break this DNA in order for us to stay on this planet. When we reunite that DNA and we start going up into the higher support of the tree of life, now this planet couldn't even begin to hold us. This is why we then can create the Merkaba, the Ka and the Ba of Allah, the vehicle of travel of light. We light in our mind. We're instantaneously, wherever we think we are, that's what a God does. Now, you're getting past third dimension to fourth dimension. These devices that you see that we call UFOs, and some call it auroral fleets, and some have all kind of other names for them, are simply fourth dimensional devices using the basic magnetic field. We can actually use org energy, which is past any magnetism. We can begin to use ships of light and go and recreate anything we want. They can't do that. But when you have a soul, you can travel anywhere you want to. Now they realize that we're getting into the fourth dimension. That's what these new suns are bringing about. But once we get into fourth dimension, there's a dimension behind it. And I use the Matrix movie as a guide. The people were in what they called a third dimension. They got into these chairs in this matrix, plugged in, and then they began to live in their dreams and thoughts. That was fourth dimension. At the end of the fourth dimension, when on when Neo became one, Neo left the fourth dimension and went on to the fifty I mean the fifth dimension. Our planet itself has been granted the right to go from the third dimension to the fifth dimension. That's unheard of. That's like going from pre kindergarten to postgraduate school. All in the next four years, we're already on that journey. That's what the 2010 so-called Mayan calendar, and it's not a Mayan calendar, is supposed to be about. We're in the process of happening it already. That's why you have shows like this. This is why you have people searching, because that consciousness is coming back. The ability to think past the veil is coming back, and this is a time of enlightenment. The two sons will bring it to us. If we need three, we'll get it, because we don't control this planet. The Creator does. Before we get into anything else, uh, the questions, uh, I have some people call in here. They've been done calling. Um, and I like Dr. To say I'm, back, I'm back, brothers. <laughs> brother LJ, okay, how you doing, brother? All right. All right. Uh, Dr. Blair, what is the use? I, I mean, for years, I mean, uh, can't remember the name of the Deep Impact. I mean, even on the Dave Chappelle show, we've seen movies and comedy shows of... Uh, the end of the world, there's a black president, and the black president brings us these aliens, introduces the aliens to us. And this has been introduced to us, I, I, I would say, the past, uh, you know, I don't know how long. You know, I'm, I'm 27. I mean, uh, for the past 10 years, I've, I've known these movies just continuously 
being introduced to us, Dr. Blair. What, uh, what is the use of having Barack Obama, this melanated, despite what's going on politically, uh, seeing him being part of a secret society and skull and bone, the Council of Foreign Relations. I mean, it can be bigger than that because, I mean, they, they, there has to be a big reason why they would have a melanated person in the Oval Office. So what is the reason they would have Barack Obama in the White House in 2009? Well, I will tell you, I will answer that question on Sunday because it ah. must tie in with some other things that are being about now. There's a need on this planet for a black leader. It, people way beyond the veil have decreed that and will not let this planet come into the fold until that God is also reappointed. The gods before, as I say, in all the religions had melanin, had dark matter, and had active pineal glands. And there's a reason why that must be done again. Other than that, nobody's getting off this planet. <laughs> so, I mean, is uh, Obama, I mean, sure, is, I'm sure he's, a, is he a, this or? Is what? Or, is he aware of it? Aware of, yeah, In some consciousness, Obama. he'll begin, as he awakens, as he follows his guide, as people begin to send him energy, and he begins to exercise his consciousness just like you, he would evolve, I'm sorry, he will evolve, he will develop, he will go forth. This is why it's must, you must hold him in light now. He's the best choice that we had out there because he has melanin, and he's in love, he's a sexual man, he's a spiritual man, he's an intelligent man. Hey, but believe me, he's under all kind of pressure. Surround that man with light, yeah. and this hey, is what you'll get. That. Surround him with uh, darkness, and then you'll get what all the rest of them are. Dr. Blair, the stuff you said, I mean, when you said it in the conscious community, I mean, we conspiracy theorists. I'm not, I'm not saying we included me. The conscious community conspiracy theorists. If they think this man is a part of Skull and Bones, and you're telling us of oh, this man, they're going to think you, you know, whose side you on. You know, but it's some... <laughs> is that you or the people you represent, or is it everybody well, listening I mean, who's now, this, as we I'm share... Playing devil, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Okay. I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you 100%. As far as what this man represents, and I talked to Bobby Hammond, as well as the, the name Panic on this issue before, as far as beyond the politics of it. So I understand what he represents in the politics, but I'm trying to relate this message that I can to the to, to the average person who just may click on this show and, and who's listening and, and they're hearing you and you talk about aliens and this and that, but at the same time you're saying you put our energy into Barack Obama. They may not understand up front, you know. They may not understand that. So I'm just trying to get you to relate this to them in a way where they could, uh, you know, understand it. Because I totally, I totally agree. I agree with you 100% with what you just said, Dr. Lee, as far as then, Obama, you know? Then I suggest if they just tuned in, then they missed the, the things that went before to set the stage for this. So I would suggest to them, come out on Sunday, mm. bring the same questions, hear the whole panorama presented with the pieces that aren't being filled in, fitting in, and then go for Q&A and see if we can reach a happy medium. If we don't, at least we came and we shared information. Okay. Let's get to some more questions, Dr. Blaine. Uh, call us, 617 area code. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dr. Blair. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I wanted to um, ask you about, well, I wanted to tell you an experience I had about six years ago and what to, I wanted to see what you made out of it. I was um, sleeping on a on my couch, my long couch one night, and um, for some reason I just woke up out of my sleep and just sat straight up. And I looked out my window where I had lived on the fourth floor at the time, and uh, there was a cross that was, I would stare at a lot. It was connected to a church that was, the black history uh, relating to the church was, really deep because they they built their own church I guess around the time when there was slavery in the south uh, so I I noticed a light where the cross usually is and and then I'm I'm looking and I'm like when did they put a light up there and then the light moved and then it moved a little more from side to side and then up and then I'm staring and I'm frozen and then I see like four or five more lights like they did formations and they danced around in the sky a little bit. 
and I couldn't move. I they they did uh pulsating it looked like pulsating lights, maybe like a very soft green and yellow and red and I I was I was shocked, I was amazed, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I couldn't move. And I remember telling my you know, my mom and and relatives and they, you know, they didn't believe I was lying, but they just didn't know what to make out of it. I remember my mom telling me not to talk about it anymore. So I went for years, well, you know, I might as well forget about it. I, I regret that I didn't write it down, um, some of the details, because a part of me wanted to just act like it didn't happen, and then a part of me know it happened, and I know it means something. I don't know. Um, maybe it was the government or something. I don't know. Can you please help me out here? Well, I'm not sure if I can or if I can't. I don't, uh, I don't the mean, point is, are you sure that you were still asleep? I was awake. And then woke up, or were you in like a uh, a stage between what they call in an, an etheric stage between the astral and the physical? <laughs> I was awake. Cases, okay. In many cases, uh, there are many people who are seeing shadow people. There are many people who are seeing the old hag. There are many people who are seeing uh, what they want to call the little grays. There are many people who are seeing reptiles. It all means that your consciousness is being evolved as you sleep. And this is what sleep is when you come out of the body and become who you really are. We have to get out of these bodies because they get too dirty, and overnight we have to clean them up. But then the real you comes out of the body. When people say they go into sleep, this is one of the things I teach in sleep classes. When you go to sleep, where do you go? So when you woke up, you still carried that image of an awakened, vibrating pineal gland, which can see in the fourth dimension, which can even see in the fifth dimension. And this is what you saw. Consequently, when you then try to take that back to what we call reality, you couldn't because we're not in reality. We're on the third dimension. That's below reality. So you went to where you should be, saw what you should see, then had to come back to the third dimension, and this is where it becomes a problem. Yeah, it was. It was it's, uh, nobody knew what to make out of it. They knew I wasn't lying, but they're like, are you sure, you, you know, you wasn't still asleep or, you know, all kinds of explanations. And, you know, and I just, I knew I was awake. I, I physically, I, I tapped myself, and I just couldn't believe what I was watching. I understand, and it's out there to be seen. You know, they're using now uh, what they call these uh, infrared lenses, these goggles of night vision. The third stage, not not these basic ones you can get easily, but the ones that go cost a lot of money, third dimension, they're now seeing battles going on there in the third, I'm sorry, in the fourth dimension. You can see things with these goggles that you normally can't see. They were there, but they're on a different wavelength a different octave of vision. You know, we have 12 different from infrared to ultraviolet. So normally we're not built to see that. As your pineal gland gets quicker, taking the monatomic gold, using dials to protect you from the things that are making you weak, you'll be able to use that sight. That's what they call insight, psychic sight. Now we get flashes of it. Pretty soon we can use it as we do any other thing. See that way when you want to. Don't see that way when you don't want to. Get into meditation and see and do. Get out of meditation to stay third dimensional. But that's a privilege when you, once you understand it, you can use whatever you want. Without that, it uses you or it's not used at all. We are just an awakener. Be glad. Be happy about it. Can I ask two more questions? Uh, two more. more. I don't know. One that's up to the moderator. Yeah, one more sister. you got to get to the other callers. Uh, okay. Um, uh, what about um, Barack Obama and supposedly sightings of? I don't know what they were. I've seen the videos of him supposedly uh, around, uh, surround well, spaceships or whatever things in the sky that were moving, not like helicopters or planes. Have you ever seen any of those? All right. You say you saw some movies uh, that some saw video ships. Clips. Of where uh, are these are sister? I hate to interject, but are these are you finding these up on YouTube and are they being put up by a guy uh, who goes oh, by the I, name Archangel Systems Three Twenty Seven? Oh, I don't know. I I know that um, I have seen a video of something looked like orbs or something like that, and but, when uh, and I, when I, he was I in Chicago on YouTube. Yeah. Where 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 yeah? You, I didn't believe it be looked very, like that. Yeah, you have to be very LJ. careful. Um, there's, there's actually, uh, and we just got wind of this about a week ago. Um, you know, my whole family just got wind of this. There's actually a renegade in our group uh, who uh, he, he, he sold out big time. He's actually been putting a lot of this information out there. This guy has more than, I'm just putting it out there for everyone to listen to. This guy has more than 11 years hacking experience. Wow. Um, he, he, he was teaching himself Unix before he properly knew how to walk. It, it's and you have to be really careful. 
um, a lot of uh, my personal friends and our partners have been getting raided because they're now getting the blame and getting knocked for a lot of uh, the uh, BS videos he's putting up, and it's casting a lot of disinformation, bad light on a lot of people. Um, so you have to be really, 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 really careful. I mean, do the research into Obama's family bloodline, find out what he's about. And, and like I said, you know, the, you, all the information is out there, and you can decide for yourself, just like Dr. Blair mentioned too. But really, the videos, you really have to be extremely careful, extremely careful okay. about the videos you see uh, and who they're put up by. And if there's anything you see on YouTube from now on, and that goes for everyone listening. I never laid a judgment. I just didn't know what to make out of it. Yeah, no, that's that's perfectly that's perfectly well and good. I mean, YouTube can be a really negative, and it can be a really great medium. Unfortunately, we we have the ones who are definitely influenced by draconic presence who use it as a medium to do lots of harm, just like the way they stage the cabal of draconians, just stage the bad abductions where people are probed and stuff. You just got to know where it's coming from. Uh, avoid anything by the name Archangel Systems. Okay. All right. Can I ask Dr. about soap? Uh, how come he doesn't have anything up there? I, I didn't see anything for um, on his website, as far as soap. Why don't I have anything about soap? Oh, and there, you don't sell soap as a product. No, uh-uh. no. I, I, I figure people can, you can get that in most places. I try to go to the exotic things that people can't usually get. They don't understand diodes. Okay. They don't understand the proper use of magnets. And they don't understand monatomic gold. This, it won't matter what kind of soap you're using if you begin to use those things. <laughs> There's a whole different, you can cleanse yourself with magnets. Just like you can put in a magnet into a wash tub and don't have to use soap. No, I try to deal, don't, don't ask me that part. I, I understand that. That's not where I'm coming from. I'm an advanced scientist. I want to bring in things that people usually can't get to let them see where they really can go. Those things you can get at any health food store. Okay. Let's, uh, let's check with the next call, Dr. Blair. This call is calling from 347 Area Code. <clears throat> yes, hello, caller. Three four seven area code four seven seven eight seven. Hello. I guess he didn't want to come out of line, off of line. Yeah, let's uh, go to the next call and see if the next call is here. Yes, hello, caller from the five one eight. Hi, this is TT calling back again. I got cut off um, in the middle of LJ. He was trying to answer some of my questions. Yes, yes, but. Um, you know, I wanted to ask you, too, uh, where are you from? Your voice sounds extremely familiar. Well, I'm calling from Albany. And Albany. Dr. Blair, we spoke earlier today in depth, so I'm assuming you know who I am. Yes, I recognize your voice. Yeah. Okay, just just, just wanted to double check. Oh, okay. okay. What, 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 what other questions did you have, sis? Because we have so many callers that I can't just, you know, Definitely. keep all the callers on the line, you know. So Definitely. just, like, the most important question you have you know, just let L.J. I can, and Dr. I, I, Blair know. Okay. Well, I can, I can run through in quick succession. The, uh, the first one is uh, Project Off the Grid, um, New World Warriors uh, Haven. You can go to both these uh, things, they're both .com websites. Okay. Um, as far as off the grid survivalist training, uh, sites where you can order non-genetically hybrid seeds. Um, and you've got to hurry up with doing this because there's going to be a ban put on this very, very soon. Um, meals ready to eat. Uh, uh, seminar camps, one or two month seminar camps for uh, training, and they teach you everything, which I won't go into detail over this line now. Um, my personal experience as far as uh, with ET and, and other life forms has I've been going through the experiences since the age of, um, I'd have to say, six years old since we, my family moved from Panama. Uh, all throughout my life, I've had experiences with the other um, and I even went through about a, a year of post-hypnotic uh, regression for it. Um, and I forgot what the last what the last question you asked. That's okay. It was the YouTube channel, and I believe I got that. So, is there any way that we can maybe um, conversate offline? Because I'd really like to compare notes. Um, I don't know how secure you feel about that. I've gone to your website, truthism.com, and I didn't yeah. know how many people shared that site. So, I just kind of wanted to. Um, yeah, and I'm, I've actually, uh, whew, I've received such a backlash. I'd, I'd have to say for that site. Um, yeah, like like I said, uh, Dr. Blair, everyone knows about the vibration, the way things are changing, and because of this site, uh, <laughs> lots of things have happened. This is why um, I couldn't really give you a YouTube channel. Um, okay. When we use YouTube, we use it as a medium for piracy. Since we're okay. tapped anyway and they're listening to everything, they say they know this. So my YouTube channels are made quickly, and they're used to get the information out, and then we are out of there. Okay. Um, 
as far as that though, uh, you could you could contact me via my email at Truthism. Anybody can t contact me via my email uh, at Truthism, and also I have another email address, um, which I get to. But uh, depending on who you are, you can probably get in a better contact uh, from there. And it's gonna it's uh, music is water two twenty four at Yahoo. Okay. Okay. Two twenty four. So just. Yeah, Music okay. is Water 224 at yahoo.com. Thank you, LJ. Thank you, Brother Rich. And thank you, Dr. Blair. It's great no hearing problem. from you again. Uh, thank, thank you, Susan. You. No problem. Sure. Keep going. <clears throat> let's, let's see if we can uh, get this next caller. Um, yes, hello. Caller 347. Uh, I'll keep a second. Yeah, caller 347. Are you there? For some reason, he's not getting through. Anyway, Dr. Blair, I, I, mean, I have a question for you. Uh, who wins at the end of this, Dr. Blair? I mean, we talk about everything that's going on, all the origins and this race, that race, this dimension, that dimension. Who wins? Is there a winner or is there no such thing? Uh, the creator wins. The people who left the creator and now can return when the consciousnesses that are cycling back again when the loss was only to recognize what we have so we can better appreciate it now that we get it again sometimes a child must wander away from home to find out how hard it was outside sometimes the child gets outside and did better than they did inside but until you ventured until you fly out of the nest you don't know what's out there and you don't know who you are once we do this now we will better understand when we get on a higher vibing planet when we have the consciousness of soul then we will understand and respect it better sometimes you have to lose what you had to know what you have and not lose it again the gift is we are going to get it back. So it's, 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 a, it's a happy it's a happy ending, in other words. You know, despite what we see around of us, you're saying uh, it's a happy ending. We're going to get what we had back. Without consciousness, many people will lose their physical bodies. We call that death. Without consciousness, many people will suffer and be in pain and get sick. Without consciousness, many people will be invalid and, and get killed and maimed and butchered in wars. With consciousness, most of that can be avoided. And this is why it's so necessary now to start using your own individual consciousness. Stop following the herd mentality. Uh, they had recently, I think it was two years ago, there was a two two I think it was a two bulls or something like this who were going cows were going to slaughter. They were fighting the Judas goat, okay? The cows or bulls, whatever they were, must have thought about because when they got to a certain part going down this gangway, which was going to lead to them getting their throats cut and hung upside down and slaughtered, one broke left, one broke right. Now, one of them got away. The other got caught. When they finally got that other one, they made a statue to that bull, let him roam around because he was a bull that woke up, and he was one of the first of his kind. The other one is still slaughtered now. So you'd be surprised when you wake up what may happen rather than the path they think that you're on. You must think individually in order to think collectively. You must think individually that you are a soul worthy, and then the Creator will reach out to you like you're reaching out to the Creator within you. And then good things happen. But, but uh, LJ, do you have any yeah. uh, other questions? Yeah. Uh, just no, I'm, I'm, I'm absorbing right now. I'm just sitting back being a greedy pig eating. <laughs> I'm just I'm just taking it all in, uh, Dr. Blair. I I do want to say though that it's it's definitely a blessing from from grand universal consciousness from a higher vibration that has put you here with us. Uh, Indigo children and crystal children and Nike are very 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 thankful for for having you know as I said an elder brother in the struggle and and who who's in the light to just help nudge us you know in that right direction and. And just help us uh, seek the answers we need just uh, a bit a bit better, you know. It's definitely a blessing in many different forms and on many different types of consciousness to have you. Uh, and, and, and you too, Brother Rich. That's well, all I want on, to add. on my part, I thank you for the accolades. I thank you for the respect. I have nothing without you. You're nothing without me. We're all here, children of light, trying to learn. But, but, uh, brother, brother LJ, you have a lot to talk about on the street. <laughs> 
I want you to ask Dr. Blair those same questions. When you deal with the concentration camps, when you deal with all those issues, brother, it, now's the time, brother. I'm well, I think he shine. just kind of explained, and he didn't want to kind of go there and because he doesn't feel good in going there right now. We're all yeah. being recorded. That's obvious. I'm used to being recorded. Like I said, he poisoned me, killed my wife the whole bit. So, I'm, you know, I'm used to that. But if the brother but doesn't feel comfortable doing it. Movement. Yeah, it's, it's, I, if, if I, if I uh, give too much away, I'm putting uh, a couple of thousand of people at risk. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely, yeah. To make the program interesting is not so much to go into those kind of things. I think those should be talked about in the silence and in the silence of those who are who are brethren who understand. But what we could talk about, and I'd love to talk about, are some of the solutions that I have that are up on that Internet, because I pay a lot for the Internet. I pay dearly to get those monotomic gold and diode products. I'd like to talk about a little bit what they can do with your permission. Go ahead, Dr. Blair. Go ahead. Okay. There are, uh, what do we have? We have 12, well, 10 different kind of diodes. Now, when I say diode, I'm talking about a natural substance, a natural thing that is made of magnets and crystals, and the whole secret is a patented catalyst. It's the thing that will hold those things together and let them take in sunlight and energy and become more than they are. Diodes protect you from radiation from cell phones. They protect you from radiation from computers, from television sets, from laptops, from the standard computer, from video game stations, from x-ray equipment, from home wiring, from radar, from airplanes and air travel, from fluorescent fixtures, from electrical blankets, from cell phones and Bluetooth, all of these, from RVs and mobiles and all, all these things, washers, dryers, vacuums, all work on the lowest frequency you can get. It's called electricity and extra low frequencies. Those things, <laughs> yes. those things stop you from progressing. Those things make you age. Those things give you headaches. Those things give you memory loss. Those things give you uh, this, this what they call this ADD. Those things can make you or cells begin to become free radicals and tumors and cancers. So what we did was to see, I see these things, now what can we do to help it? Came up with diodes. It's not my company. I simply order in the product and I search like mad. This was the best company I could find because they gave a diode to put on the back of the cell phone to let you use it safely. A dial to put on that Bluetooth that held up in, I don't know why, in the people use those Bluetooth. They put them up there in the ear, which rests on the tympanic membrane, which can cause you to get tintinitis and this hearing and the sound in the ear, which people are getting. It can interrupt the optothalamus nerve and even send you blind, macular degeneration. Uh, and all you have to do is put a diode on it, and now you can use it safely. We have a equipment diode that you can put in your pocket or put on the back of fluorescent lights or an appliance diode that you can put on the back of the computer, the monitor, the scanner, the uh, what they call the modem or, or, or tower, the printer, all these things. You can simply put it on. If you look into a computer and you're constantly looking at it, and many people are doing now, and you don't have a, a diode on the back of it, it can actually harm the optic thalamus nerve, the retina. It can cause macular degeneration and will cause all kind of tumors and things to grow in the head because your brain is what's signaling those signals. Put a diode on it. If you Now, I want people to hear this because they seem to get confused with this one. We have a device called, a diode called a transmutation plaque. That is something you put your food on. If you get food that is bad, spoiled, salmonella, all kind of things may be in it, Put that on there when you buy it. Leave it on there for a minimum of 15 minutes. Sometimes I'll leave it overnight if it's, if it's, if it's in a can or something. It will pull 39 kinds of oscillating energy, which means bad, poisonous energy, and radiation out of it before you use it, before you cook it. If you're hooked on these daggone smoking devices from cigarettes on, put the cigarette pack Put a diode uh, plaque on it, I'm sorry, put a a diode uh, chip on it, or put a plant diode on it, leave it on there for 15 or 20 minutes, and now all the poisons and tars and things that are in those cigarettes is gone. Put coffee grounds on it. Talk about decaffeinated, it takes out all the poisons and toxins from it. What other device do you know can do that? If you happen to ride in a car, and cars now are very dangerous to ride in, not because of side impact and getting a wreck, but because of what they represent. When you turn on a car ignition, 
you turn on the alternator, which kicks in. The alternator and the motor now are sending out energy. When the wheels turn and you get in a car to go somewhere, there is no ground. So now anything in that metal frame of the car, which is solid wells due to side impact loss of the air, the air uh, things and mattresses and stuff, balloons won't go off and crush you. That means now the seat that you're sitting on is welded to the chassis, and radiation now that goes to the frame of that car is now going up to the sex organ. That's why you're getting now a lot of men, young men, 17 to 37, prime time, getting swollen prostates simply because they're swelling up due to the radiation that's coming in there. Many people, many women are getting vaginitis now. Uh, they're getting all kind of tumors and stuff that are growing on the breast and in the womb simply because they're sitting on these seats and you're getting radiated. If you doubt that, get in that car, turn on your FM or AM and see what you get. When you hear static, that's radiation. Use I agree with you, uh well, I'm telling the truth. I don't lie about stuff, and I've oh, done no, my research. The, the natural, the natural consensus for infertility rates is skyrocketed by uh, something between thirty and forty-five percent this year alone. It's, it's, it's. Uh, I, I, I think it's really, really, really great how much you're expounding on, like how, the importance of getting the right elements inside of one's body to help in the vibratory, you, you know, in vibration, the next stage of the evolution. It's, it's, it's really important. Well, again, it helps you to evolute without being dissolute. <laughs> it helps you to get further instead of going backwards because you won't have a chance when you get tubers and people are getting, women are getting their breasts removed. They're getting these PSA yeah. tests where yeah. these guys are going to these daggone doctor's offices mm -hmm. with this prostate-specific antigen test. That's a biopsy. And they're cutting your prostate. <laughs> and these guys get up on the table and try to find out. Start using the diodes. Start using, well, okay, so, and then also there's a diode that you can sleep on. It's, it's a diode mattress. When you lie on that while you sleep or lay on it, it's pulling poisons and toxins, 47 frequencies of them, out of your body. It's not sending it to the liver where you're getting cirrhosis. It's not sending it to the lymph system, which causes lymph nodes and swelling and everything. It's not sending it to, uh, to the, 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 the uh, heart cells or anything like that. It's actually transmuting it, taking it out of your body if you were crazy enough, ignorant enough, or just being harmed enough to put it in. This lets you clean out your body. Clean out your body with the cleanser. Clean out your body with the diode, and you can get a whole new life coming again. Then there's a diomed. That's the one that protects your entire home in all directions. It looks like an upside-down pyramid with the equivalent of 35 concentrated diodes at. It protects 60 yards around your home. You have a circuit breaker diode, which changes the current wattage on the kind of things coming through uh, that goes into your home. So we found the solutions. Why try to reinvent the diode when we have the diode that is now can help you reinvent yourself? This is one thing. We have magnets. Many people don't understand the difference, and they call a magnet a diode and a diode a magnet. Magnets do one thing that's good for the human body. They speed up your healing process, and they diminish your pain. They strengthen the myelin sheath. And in healing, when you get the red blood cells that carry the oxygen and an iron molecule, if you put that magnet onto a cut, onto a break, onto anything that's going bad, it speeds up the healing process because now oxygen and chlorophyll, which is what is uh, that's what the only difference between plant chlorophyll and human hemoglobin is one magnesium molecule. Now you can begin to heal faster. So I'm saying again, we have magnets that you can sleep on, magnets that you can wrap around on your back, on your elbow, wherever you get pain, wherever you get breaks, use magnets. The last thing we have is monatomic gold, and I don't know, people can't seem to understand that. Monatomic <laughs> gold, when it's used, is gold in the and the only form you can get it and still not make it a solid, it's mono. They have, they're now admitting that colloids or liquids are easily absorbed by the body. Ionic is beneath that. It, you, it's even smaller. Most of our miracle products that you see up in the thing are ionic. But beneath both of those is monatomic, which means it is so just one little atom from not even existing, which means it can get into your body, into your skin, into your nose, into your blood in seconds. And now you can begin to create yourself a super person simply by using monatomic gold because it's encapsulated at 121 megahertz. Most germs and bacteria can't even live past over 100. So now when you're taking that, you've got strong blood. You've got strong blood that goes to strong cells. You've got strong cells that go to strong organs and strong physical. We've done the research. Go up there and use the products and watch how wonderful it can be. Uh, I'd just like to add, uh, Dr. Blair, also too, for those listening, there, um, I agree with you 100% wholeheartedly. 
about monatomic gold, uh, the properties of the gold itself, the vibrational properties. Um, I mean, this is in the, the atmosphere surrounding Nibiru. This is why they've kept gold from us and taken it from our people for, for uh, millennia. Um, and I'd like to also put out there that there are many, many, many organizations out there that are actually working with the cabal, and they put out tons of discouraging documents and websites uh, about uh, the dangers of monatomic gold. Um, one of these groups that's famous for it are called the, the Illum Formula Group. For those brothers and sisters out there listening, the Illum Formula Group. Um, it's headed by uh, Stacey Renshire. She has, met, she has written tons of articles, um, and she's to be ignored. Anything produced on monatomic gold by these people are to be ignored, and like Dr. Blair has said, do your research and do the real research. The disinformation will it become quite apparent, the disinformation, when you actually have the facts backing what you know. Uh, right, thank you, because I didn't know that name. What is this woman's name again? This, this, this organization is they're called Illum Formula. Um, they used to run a site called uh, The Real Dangers. Um, it was the realdangers.net, or I believe, yeah, it was the realdangers.net. Uh, they've it's another group that I've exposed on YouTube too that's put out tons of uh, enhanced and, and uh, doctored videos. Um, they do all they can to discourage real thought and murk it and put out uh, misinformation. You um, named a particular person, though, that headed the group or was doing the writing for it? Yes, Ms. Rin, Ms. Rinshire. Actually, there's, she's married, if I believe, too. So, and her husband's name is William. Um, you can look at the names. Okay. William Rinshire, yeah, he's 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 uh, one of the heads of Ilum Formula, and they're they're it's a it's a disgusting organization. Um, as far as having websites that were set up, had anywhere between thirteen to twenty uh bunk websites where you could order uh, non genetically hybrid seeds. They were all fake sites. Uh, I'm talking bilking people out of money. These people are working for the cabal. They they have nothing to do with uh, the days as far as goodness coming ahead. I appreciate you sharing that. Oh, yeah, no no problem. I've actually been an advocate for, you know, as far as all colloids, um, I've been doing the research since I was a student at Stony Brook. That's about five years ago, and the benefits are amazing. The, 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 the benefits, I can't even begin to expound upon them. And disinformation is disinformation, and when it's out there, it needs to be stomped upon. So that's just simply what I'm doing there. Well, I'm a, I use my own products. <laughs> oh, no, I have, no, no, absolutely. I, no, 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 you, you didn't let me finish. Don't presuppose on me. Uh, I use my own products. They haven't harmed me. In fact, for my age and what I do, I think it's a wonder. My brain is still sharp. I still go dancing for hours at a time. I still walk miles when I want to. Uh, I'm saying again, the monatomic gold helps. It helps me to concentrate. It keeps my immune system sky high. So if it's bad for some, it's good for me. And I think anybody who can use the right ones and begin to clean up the body, one of the things that gold is going to do is going to drive out poisons and toxins. So you cannot start intermixing. You cannot start putting in a whole heavy lot of meat with MSG and aspartame yes, and all like yes, that. Yes. You're going to break out. Sure, if you've got bad things in, you put good things to get rid of. Better stop putting in the bad, put in the good. You'll morph. You begin to be what you're supposed to be, and you'll feel good while doing it. I once said this before. You wonder why the worst, the worst foods are in the hood. You got everything from Kool Aid to to fried chicken and 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 the pork fried rice and the worst foods. They they they'll have them in the hood. That's not even and, food. And, and, it's not even food, and it's, it's not even food. to calcify the third eye. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I'm in. Yes. <laughs> I'm in raw. I'm in. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Okay, one last question. We only have about ten minutes left, Doctor Blair. Before I forget, um, brother's been he's been dying for me to ask you this question, Doctor Blair. Who does? Who did? Uh, just a brother. You, you know, I show the DVDs on the street. A brother that he always comes by, and he I told him you were going to be on the show. And then he knows you deal with the diodes and health and things of that nature. So the brother wanted me to ask you. Now, the brother's uh, he's kind of frustrated. Um, conscious brother, but he's frustrated. Um, his mother passed away last year. His mother was a conscious woman. Um... You know, he can't understand why. He he does he feels as though it wasn't his mother time. And I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to misquote this brother, but he's angry at the fact the brother he he's very uh, analytical, 
And the brother says he observes somebody, there's this particular homeless man that he observes every day before he goes to work, and he says this homeless man eats from the garbage can every day. And he said it's been like this for the past seven, eight years. He's observed this man eating from the garbage can every every day. Well, not, I'm not, I don't know if it's every day, every I don't know, but particularly every day for the past seven years, the brother said. This brother, he this brother appears to be alive and and I won't say healthy, but the brother he's mobile. He's walking on two legs, whatever, whatever. Now this brother's mother passed away last year, uh, I believe at the young age of 45 or whatever it is. So the brother's a little frustrated on how a so-called person could die, pass away, you know, on a healthy diet. They weren't strict vegetarians, but, you know, they ate fairly healthy. And the brother says how this homeless man, he, he watches them every day, eats from a garbage can, seven years straight. And he's still walking, breathing, and doing good. And he's a little frustrated. And he just wants me to ask you, you know, how is this possible? What, 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 what? There's something beyond what everybody's telling us with the food. Well, who knows what, you know, it's in the movie you said he's Batman by night, by day and one in, in Mont, Lamont Ooh, Cranston man. or John Wayne, somebody else. You don't know who that homeless man is. He might, you know, he might be a spy. He might be anything. You don't know who he is, you know? <laughs> That's Same old thing. Out there, you don't know what he does by night or day. You don't compare one with another. Each soul has their own journey. Each product of what we do is in the consciousness of the Akashic Record, simply meaning we record what we do. When we've done enough and we aren't changing, we're eliminated. Sometimes you get eliminated. As I say, uh, I lost my wife, okay? I was 17 years older than my wife. I'm still here, and she's been gone nine years, okay? But we were poisoned. I had been on on health foods and using gold and stuff for years, all right? Even before they had the gold, I was into very into juices and stuff. She had not been at one time. She smoked. The point was when we were both poisoned, her body then rebelled through the cell memory and still would have made it had not certain things happened again where you got some of these allopaths that intervene against my will. But again, she's gone. I could have been very angry, and I was. I could have been very hurt, and I was. But I said again, that was her soul journey. So I'm simply saying, do not judge another cover of a book because you don't know the contents, and don't read into another person's life what is not in yours. Take each one and understand that there is a creator. Try to be good for it, and soon everything will make sense. I appreciate the answer, um, Dr. Blair. Um, before we close out, uh, Brother LJ, Dr. Blair, is there anything you would like to say before we close out today's show? Well, for me, and then I'll leave it over to LJ, I hope everybody comes out on Sunday at 3 o'clock. Again, uh, again to the um, Long Island University there in Brooklyn. And, of course, you gave your number. If anybody wants to contact, boy, they're really courting me now. I can't even hear myself. Uh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, if they want to call, 708-422-6685, 708-422-6685. That's the landline to the Meta Center where they can place orders and they can talk with me. Our website is www.themetacenter.com, www.the metacenter.com. Every product we talk about is up there. We have immune enhancers. We have brain boosters. We even have magnetic penis rings to help get rid of the problem with the prostate when used over and over again because it's going to bring healthy blood down past the scrotum into the prostate, into the penis itself. That you can get instead of getting some of these PSA tests if you're going to do something along there. We have a lot of products that for cleaning out, to kill viruses and everything else. So, I thank you so very much, Brother Rich. I hope that all of your audience, that you and you have a vast one, you're very well respected, comes out on Sunday. For those who want to contact me about workshops or why I'm in town for other lectures or so after I do that one, please do so now. And I can only thank an LJ. It's my pleasure having met you for the first time, and I hope it's it not the last mine. time. It was all mine, Doctor. Thank you so much. Brother LJ, any closing words before we close out? Um, Just to everyone still listening, uh, you know, stay in the light. Um, keep, keep your head up, just stay in the light and vibrate. You know, what you hear vibrates well with your soul, with your consciousness, and is good, then that really is truly what's good. But your inner God mind will always let you know what truly is not good. That's about it. 
Okay, once again, this is uh, Underground Railroad Radio. Today's special guest was Dr. Blair, along with the guest hosts, Brother LJ and Brother A.A. Rashid. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you and your audience, and the Creator continue to bless us both. And I have one other thing I'm going to say. It takes about 35 seconds to say it on. It's a little creative prayer. Please, Universal Creator, know in my heart that I love you. Please protect me and this planet on which I live now. Please open my mind, my spirit, and my soul to receive only truth and your love now. I have people all over the world now. It's been out there for seven years saying that little thing. I hope everybody joins in with it. We are not the flesh. We are the spirit. We don't have any fears because the Creator makes everything fearful or everything lovely. I choose to follow the love, and I think we all will get further with that at this time on our planet, which is ascending. Absolutely. Mm. Amen. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, brother. Right.